Okay, so do I start? <laughs> One of Savannah's nicknames is Sassy Savvy. She smiles so much. You know, there's nothing that stops her from smiling. She's the most caring person, and she's a very big believer. She does not let her diagnosis define her. And I think that's very important. She's taught me um, hope. My name is Savannah, and I am eight years old. I do love to smile because I'm always happy. She is so strong-willed that dealing with this diagnosis, she, she's going to come out on top anyways. Fibrodysplasia cervicans progressiva. It's a muscular disorder in which any type of trauma that occurs to the muscular tissue, um, like as a normal person, our muscle will repair back to muscle. However, an FOP, um, tendons, ligaments, and muscle actually repair into a bone. If you were to grow a, a bone, a FOP bone in your tendon, it just locks in place. So Savannah currently um, has suffered ossification, so she is somewhat stiff as a board. And it's very painful. So I think that is the one thing that, that hurts her the most is just seeing her in pain when she's having what's called a flare up when new FOP bone is forming. So we definitely have to monitor her movements and just be cautious with different things that she decides to do. The social aspect uh, of Savannah having FOP has been big. You know, she's not currently enrolled in school. She's homeschooled. So we're, we're the people she sees for the most part. You know, we're her best friends. So she's not getting an interaction with kids her age. Denaya, she's a great big sister. She loved her. And I mean, the times that she would get to go up to the hospital and, and visit her, she was like her personal nurse and she definitely took care of her little sister. Yeah. Don't be nervous. Okay, it's okay. She helps me with my nerves. She what? helps me to feel confident in myself and she helps me just really strive and just be the best that I can be. So what mommy told me mm -hmm. is think about something that makes you happy and okay. calm. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then you'll not be nervous. You'll, okay. You will not be okay. <laughs> She's always happy. She always has that biggest smile on her face. She was so great in the hospital with being a fighter, being a warrior, knowing that she was going through something so dramatic. She would ask questions to the doctors more than we would. Questions sometimes we wouldn't think of because she's going through it. And I mean at the age of three, four, and five, it was phenomenal. It opened our eyes up. It kind of gave us spirit, gave us a, a sense of hope and a sense of fight too as well. I look at it as a parent. You know, I think you want to overemphasize the things that your child with FOP can do. There's going to be so many things that they're going to have to deal with emotionally by seeing other people doing things that they possibly can't, that they need that little support and that little nudge saying, hey, you're wonderful. You're great. You know, keep smiling um, because you're, you're, you're a light to the world. We want to keep her lungs as strong as possible. So for her, singing is a, a avenue that she goes down. She loves to sing. She loves to keep those lungs strong. And she makes me sing with her. I'm not as good um, as her, but we try to make sure she still, you know, has some, some activity throughout her day to where she's enjoying herself too as well. I love to sing and I, I was singing, I always sing in the hospital too. And the rest of the today, I'll rise up, I'll rise on the free. If someone was sad about FOP, then I would say it's okay because FOP is is rare and that means that means you're special. One of her favorite phrases is, God gave me FOP because he knew I was strong enough to handle it. And she says that a lot. <laughs> And she believes it. So I have to look at her and say, if this young little girl can say, I'm strong enough to deal with this, it helps me get by in the little trials that I have to deal with daily. And, and I'm thankful for her for that. You realize how much you love your family and how much you love being around your family. You never take those things for granted. Positivity for her is a big thing that she's taught this family. 
She has the ability to be so impactful to other people. You know, without her, we wouldn't be as positive as we are. But I never want her to lose that. 